When we walk in his ways, then he'll take us places we've never dreamed of. about is my head, my water, my trees, and my wildlife. When you do it, if you don't get in line with that, goodbye. Of what's going to happen here in a matter of a few minutes is that one of those people on that plane is going to, going to shoot the pilot. I know that. I didn't plan it, but I know it's going to happen. He's going to shoot that pilot, and down comes that plane into the jungle. And we had better not have any of our children left when it's over, because they'll parachute in here on us. I'm just saying, here's what the Bible teaches, and I want to put my faith in, uh, you know, in Christ. I will take your, your call, we will put it to the Russians, and I can tell you the answer now because I'm a prophet. You have to believe in yourself. I think you can't look for another person to validate you or to tell you you're okay. You gotta really know you're okay. I tell you, I don't care how many screams you hear, I don't care how many angry cries. Death is a million times preferable to ten more days of this life. If you knew what was ahead of you, if you knew what was ahead of you, you'd be glad to be stepping over tonight. Please, for God's sake, let's get on with it. We've lived. We've lived as no other people have lived and loved. We've had as much of this world as you're going to get. Let's just be done with it. Let's be done with the agony of it. The world of madness is a lot bigger than the world of sanity. Sanity's a little box. <laughs> She's rough friend. Sanity's a little world. And sanity is the universe. I just encourage people to stay faithful and believe that God has the right person. When we walk in his ways, then he'll take us places we've never dreamed of. So, my opinion is that we be kind to children and be kind to seniors and take the portion like we used to take in ancient Greece and step over quietly because we are not committing suicide. It's a revolutionary act. We can't go back. We won't leave us alone. They're now going back to tell more lies, which means more congressmen. And there's no way, no way we can survive. When we walk in his ways, then he'll take us places we never dreamed of. I just want to uh, say something to everyone that I see that is standing around and uh, crying. This is nothing to cry about. This is something we should all rejoice about. We should be happy about this. They always told us that we should cry when you're coming into this world. Well, when we're living and we're living as people, I think we should, be, we should be happy about this. When we walk in his ways, then he'll take us places we've never dreamed of. No man on earth knows the mind of God. Jesus said, don't think that I've come to bring peace. I've come to bring a sword. What's the point? The point is a sword separates. Well, I'm not saying it's the result of sin. I'm saying it's a result of God's permissible will. There's no need to feel guilty. I haven't done anything I'm ashamed of. You haven't done enough. I might be ashamed of that for not doing enough, for not giving enough, for not being more perceptive, for not being aware enough, for not understanding, for uh, being stupid. Maybe I should have killed four or five hundred people, then I would have felt better. When we walk in his ways, then he'll take us places we never dreamed of. It is called to this day Babylonianism, and it is the mother child cult, and it is the cult where redemption comes through sacraments, not the blood of Christ. When we walk in his ways, then he'll take us places we've never dreamed of. The H-bomb can produce heat of 150 million degrees Fahrenheit in a millisecond, and that's why the flesh can melt off of the body before your body can hit the ground. How very much I've loved you. How very much I've tried my best to give you 
the good life.